What's up, everybody? I'm Jason. This is the Freebird Garage, and today we are installing a Quad Lock Pro mounting system on my Harley Davidson FXR. Pretty pumped about this. Been wanting a phone mount for my bike for quite some time. It's notorious. Every time I ride on my bike, everybody wants to call me, and it's in my pocket, and I'm just like, I gotta figure out what's going on because work is either calling me, friends, call, someone's calling me, family is probably last. But, anyways, I just need to know what's going on. Now I can actually see it in front of me. And it's the right system. My uh, brother actually gave me this for doing all of his sports work. You have to check those videos out. Go check them out. And wanted to say thank you by giving me this pro mounting system by Quadlock. Really dig the looks of it. It's all blacked out as compared to the normal system, which has like all plastic or nylon. This is all aluminum, which is considered their pro lock. Still mounts the same way, but it's got a different look to it. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And he included a vibration pad which I didn't know that they actually had that until after installing my father's quad lock system on his bike. It was a standard one on that breakout and in full in depth with a wireless charger and all that stuff for his phone. But anyways, let's go check out the packaging and what I got. Okay, so here's the setup we got. There's the phone case, the mine's the iPhone X. They make them all for the newest iPhones. I'm sure Androids as well. Pretty easy to select, but mine is the iPhone X. We're gonna go with that. Then of course the pro mounting system here and then the vibration dampener I'm really curious to see how this looks feels so supposedly it knocks out quite a bit of all the vibration which can damage your phone on you know riding i didn't know that where it actually could vibrate so much and knock out your camera supposedly on some bikes so they want to make sure that you're protected but you gotta buy it separately which is kind of unfortunate i wish they should just you know include it like that that seems to make sense right there but anyways that's what we got and this is going to be self-explanatory as far as the phone that's going to go on let's open the pro up this packaging always looks nice too there there's quad lock stuff reminds me of the iphone or a apple marketing style real nice packaging Oh man, there we are. All right, all of our different sizes that we need. Man, that is slick looking too, all blacked out. Really dig that. Cause the blue doesn't go with my bike. Well, that blacked out aluminum does. Look at that there. I really dig that. Whew. So those are your inserts that of course you're gonna have. We got an inch and one eighth, one inch, seven eighths. So if you got moto bars, the bigger Harley or just the standard Harley handlebars, they pretty much got you covered. And then there is our tab that we will assemble. I think that's pretty much it there. Oh yeah, just the rubber, oh, inch and a quarter there. So they do inch and a quarter that's already stocked in there. So, and of course, a little tool to get you on. A little Allen wrench, bolt, okay. Now let's check out this vibration here. Oh, comes with another tool. We got two Allen wrenches now. Pull that out there. Move our paperwork. All right. Interesting. All right. So this will go on like that. Okay. And little. Oh, look at that. It's like a little shock absorber. That's pretty cool. Very interesting. Now, on a lot of these systems that you see people mounting their phones to, um, I know Ram mount has like a type of bushing as well. Um, and then I know there's other ones that pretty much strap right to the tank you can get. This is the only one that actually has a dedicated piece that dampens the vibration, which is very interesting. I don't know how well it does, but I'm assuming pretty well. We'll know at some point or another. So, all right, there we go there. Now let's check out our phone mount here, phone casing. smooth, all blacked out. You have to have this quad locking case. It does not work without the case. You gotta have it, so that's something to note if you are getting the quad lock system. Either swap out your casing if you really love the case, or just rock the one that they have. I mean, it's hard plastic, so you're gonna be protected. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade from the one that I have on my phone, so I'm not complaining about that. That's real sweet, but you have to have this in order to lock it. And that's pretty much the only sacrifice you're gonna really have when going with the quad lock system. All right, let's get on the bike. All right, we're gonna mount it right on the throttle side on my handlebars, just by personal preference. Always had these scratches right here. Never really took care of them. It's from when I first originally mounted these handlebars. 
Now I have the chance to cover them up. No need to paint over them. This is the perfect match for it. Right width. I think it will look smooth on this handlebar setup. So what we're gonna do first is just simply open it up with the tool that they gave us. Don't even have to pull out any of my own Allen ads there. Just make sure I don't lose that screw and drop it. Okay. Pull the factory insert in there, which ends up being the 7 8 Now we're gonna install the one inch, which is the right there on the collar. Have the arm facing upward. Oh yeah, there we go. And bolt right there, it already has some blue Loctite on there. So Perfect match to their marketing colors there. No torque spec on this one. It's gonna get it nice. I don't think it's gonna move. The way that they have this set up, it ain't going nowhere. Okay, we're gonna install our dampening pad now. Match up the gears, teeth on, bolt right through the middle. Look at that. Perfect. Cherry on the top there, the actual locking tab for your phone. Remove for use. Right there. It's lawyer jargon because there's probably been some lost phones out there. All right, we're locked down. Let's get the phone on there. See how it does. New case, phone, smooth. Now they do make like protection covers. They call them ponchos, which you can just get and put on, stay on your phone. I already have a protected one. So I'm not too worried about that. There's our locking device. Bam! Just like that. That's awesome. So here's the dampening system, the little shock absorbers that I was talking about. Just like that. Move this around. This little notch here that holds it in. Now if your phone is flexing that much, you got some crazy vibration going on. Or maybe you're off-road and your whole front end's just flopping up and down. Holy crap, that's, that'd be wild. But anyways, that should take care of any vibrations that my phone has. I'm pretty stoked to see how it does. They will do just fine by everything else that they've made. Pretty pumped. As always, guys, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, tap that like, press the notification, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. And for those that have already subscribed, thank you. And as always, stay free. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.